Hello everyone, welcome to the security channel. In this video, we are going to take another problem from Harvard MIT Math Tournament from 2021. It came from the gods round and we are going to have an algebra problem. Let's see what the problem is first and then we are going to deep dive into the solution. Now let's talk about the problem. We have real numbers x, y, and z. We have three equations as you see here. Let's talk about the equations for now. We have 1 over x plus y plus z. We have x plus 1 over y plus z. And we have x plus y plus 1 over z. We know that these three equations equal to 3. The thing that we are going to find is sum of all possible values of x plus y plus z. We are going to write that sum as m over n. We know that m and n are positive integers. We also know that the GCD of m and n is 1. We are going to find 100 times m plus n. Now let's see how we are going to solve this. But remember, we need to find sum of all possible values of x plus y plus c. Let's start by some simplification. We have three equations, but obviously, if we just take the two of these three equations, we can remove one variable easily. For example, let's assume that we only have the first two equations. Z is common, and we're going to subtract each equation from the other one, then we are going to end up with 1 over x plus y equals to x plus 1 over y. You're going to see exactly the same thing but with different variables if you take two other equations. At the end, you're going to end up with the three equations that I have here on the right hand side. Now let's focus on one of these equations. The one that I have here is 1 over x plus y equals to x plus 1 over y. We can simplify it easily. On the left hand side, we have 1 plus xy over x and on the right hand side, I have xy plus 1 over y. Obviously, there are two solutions here. We can have x equals to y or we can have xy equals to negative 1. For each one, we are going to take different paths. But before talking about those, you can easily verify that we have other options too. If you take two other examples of these equations, then you are going to end up with either y is equal to negative 1 or z equals to y. Similarly, there is a chance that we have x equals to negative 1 or x equals to z. Now, note that for the first two equations that you see here, basically xy equals to negative 1 or x equals to y, one of these can be valid. On the other hand, it's possible that we can have one of the second two equations that you see here on the second row is going to be valid and so on so forth. I'm going to assume that for now that x equals to y and y equals to z. For this particular case, we can simplify the equations that we are given and find the values that we can have for x, y and z. Basically, let's assume that x equals to y equals to z. Then 1 over x plus y plus z equals to 3 because it's given and then applying the assumption we are going to end up with 2x plus 1 over x equals to 3 and we can have two cases here. The case that we have 1 for x, y and z and the case that we can have 1 half for x, y and z. Now let's take a look at the other case where xy is equal to negative 1. In that case, you can see that from the first equation, the first two terms are going to cancel out and we will have z equal to 3. From the second equation, we will have the same thing. However, from the last equation, we will have x plus y equals to 8 over 3. Now we are using negative 1 over x for y and we will see that x, y, and z 
are going to be negative 1 over 3, 3, and 3. Now there is something interesting here. First of all, we have symmetry in these equations. So if we have negative 1 over 3, 3 and 3 for x, y, z, it's possible to have other cases that we just swap values of x, y, and z. However, note that here we are interested in some of all possible values of x plus y plus z. So we are not interested in individual values of x, y, and z. If by changing the values that we have for x, y, z, we will end up with the same value for sum of x plus y plus z, then that case is already visited. Because of that, we only have these three cases. The case that we just swap the values that we have for x, y, z in the third case is not going to change x plus y plus z here. Now we want to find sum of all possible values of x plus y plus z. It's going to be 3 for the first case, 3 over 2 for the second case, and 17 over 3 for the third case. Other cases are going to be similar to these three cases. Sum of them is going to be 61 over 6. Now let's go back to the problem again. It says, let's assume that sum of all possible values of x plus y plus z can be written as m over n. We saw that we wrote the sum as 61 over 6. m and n are positive integers, which is the case here. And the greatest common divisor of m and n is 1. Again, that's true here. So we found our m and n. And the only thing that we need to find is multiplying m by 100 and then adding n to it. We are going to end up with 6106 for the final answer. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles and math problems from different competitions, please subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel and I hope to see you in the next video.